Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing all good today. So, as you can tell from the title, I'll be sharing with you all my August favourites. I cannot believe we're stepping into autumn soon. I cannot wait. It's going to be my favourite season for makeup, advent calendar. I'm all about it. And yeah, literally cannot wait. It is very makeup heavy in this favourites. I do have one skincare, actually no, two skincare items and a body product and the majority of the rest is makeup so yeah I've had some good favourites this month so yeah that's my video today if you're interested to see what I've been loving over the August then do keep on watching, hit subscribe, I do these every single month and yeah without further ado let's go Okay, let's talk about what's on my eyes first. I'm going to start off with the latest collab with iHeart Revolution. They collabed with Looney Tunes. This is definitely my favourite collabs that they've done so far. Um, looking forward to the Clueless. That's with Revolution. Cannot wait. Um, yeah, it's probably out now by the time I put this video up. Yeah, it is. So, I picked out Tweety Birds and Sylvester. I do love these palettes. I'm wearing them both today combined. I do also like the Bugs Bunny and the Taz palette, but if I had to choose, my ultimate favourite will be these two. So, I won't go into too much detail because I've done a lot of video on these, so I'll just give you an overview of what they look like if you haven't seen it already. If I remember, I'll try link the video to these palettes in the description box below. This is Sylvester palette warm summery love that i could even wear this in the autumn as well and then we got tweety birds so i used the pink out of the tweety bird palette i used granny which is over here and i did use this color as well this bird shade and then for the outer corner i used one of the browns in the sylvester palette and then for the inner corner highlight i used the adventure shade uh yeah i really like this eyeshadow today uh and i thought to combine those two palettes together and they work really well so yeah speaking of the looney tunes collection i just want to quickly mention these i'm going to mention the little highlight there's a shade in here called sassy that i always keep going towards this shade i don't really use much of the other shades i always gravitate towards this one it's quite icy, icy toned. It's got a little pink hue to it as well. Not too pink though. And then I'm gonna mention the Bugs Bunny lip oil. These lip oils are adorable, very nostalgic, but also very nourishing, I'd say. Um, they're not most nourishing products I've tried, but I think they're pretty, pretty up there, yeah. I've used quite a bit of it already. So I'm gonna move on to this body product. I've only got one body product in here and this is the Filter Molly May Tan. I'm finally getting my round to trying this tan. It's been spoken about a lot. I've been very stuck in my ways when it comes to fake tan. If you find something, you don't really wanna depart from it, but this is cool in top. So I normally use the Bondi Sands. I get that in extra dark, this is also in extra dark, but the Bondi Sands, I don't know. It, it just goes a bit greenish. Um, the green does go, but I just I just hate looking at it when I first put on it, even though the next day it turns out a really nice colour. But this tan goes on spectacular. It smells nice. It evens out really nicely. I feel like I don't get as patchy with this tan. I just feel like it spreads out very nice and it doesn't go green at the start. It goes the exact same colour and that's what I want. Bondi Sands, it goes green at the start and then the next day it goes into more of a, like a goldeny bronzy shade and I can't be bothered with that anymore. So yeah, I got this from Beauty Bay. Beauty Bay made a funny thing with my order and they ended up giving me two for the price of one. So happy about that. <laughs> so I've got two tans to get through. Um, but yeah, if you've not tried the fake tan by Molly May, I, I urge you to. It is on the pricey side, but... I really like this. I used to use the St. Moritz. I used to use, um, I used to use the St. Moritz a lot in school, which I was a very huge fan of. Um, and then I went on to Bondi Sands and then I just never changed my tan since. Um, so yeah, Molly May, she has converted me. This is very lipstick heavy in this haul. So I'm gonna go for all the lip products. Um, yeah, 
if you like lipsticks, you're gonna like this. So, I discovered, well, I didn't discover it, I saw someone watch someone else's video. I was watching Kezi Corner's um, YouTube the other day, and I can't remember which video it was, but anyway, she tried these lipsticks, and I had to ask there and then where she got them from, and they're called Golden Rose, and they are their soft and matte creamy lip colour. I had to buy three shades, because I just love the look of them. They give you that matte effect without the drying situation which is what I really need in my lip lipstick so I've got a little mini lip combo going on here I'll use the Primark lip liner shade toffee I don't know if they do this lip liner anymore I'm gonna be sad if they don't but yeah I really like this lip liner and then I went into one of the golden rose lipsticks I used the shade 109 it doesn't say a shade name but it says 109 it's this beautiful pink color and I think this would make a really nice ombre lip especially with your lip liner super blendable I would just basically put it in the middle and then blend it out and then I had to buy two other shades I got the shade 102 and 106 these two are very similar um so probably won't need two this is the 102 shade which is like a soft pinky nude and then we've got 106 106 so 106 is probably more peachy the tiniest bit but there's I can't really tell any shade difference with this but they are definitely two different shades and yeah I just really like this pink I just think it looks really nice especially with this eye makeup and then another lipstick I've been loving is by Milani this is their fetish lipstick so I've got it in the shade tease this is so nice I think I mentioned this in my previous favourites. It's it's this one. It smells incredible. Again, same kind of formula. I think this is more of a satin lipstick. Um, but it's got like actually I don't know. It just it feels very velvety though. I think it doesn't have as much of a shine compared to the others, but these other ones do dry down quite matte in a way but yeah really like this lipstick i've got in i've got the same lipstick but in the shade pleasure which was more of a movie one and then i've got another lip product uh i got this stuff randomly but i've been finding it quite useful sometimes i do forget it's there but i've been good recently picking it up this is the mac prep and prime lip primer i just think this preps your lips really well if you're gonna put on a matte lipstick especially or something um it's just a good way to prime your lips i don't think you get a lot of product in there for the price you pay for but it smells nice it feels nice you probably can get the same same out of another product but i, I probably would repurchase this i think yeah okay i've mentioned this in my lip product section because i just i've probably been using it more for my lips this is the revolution super dewy liquid blush in the shade you got me blushing this is such a beautiful blush but not only that i'd love to wear this as a lipstick it's such a beautiful shade it just gives you that like soft looking colour on your lips. So we've got a skincare product, I've only got one in here, but this is the Jeffree Star Skin Banana Fetish Lip Mask. I love this. This stuff smells incredible. So I've used that much so far. It doesn't look like I've used a lot, but I've been dipping my finger into this quite a lot over the month. Oh, it feels nice when it's on. I like to wear this at night time. Sometimes I like to wear it in the day, depending on what mood I'm in, if it's there on the side. Um, but yeah, I always go back to this when I want something on my lips. There's just something about this that I really like and it is something that I will repurchase. It just makes my lips so soft, feels so nice, not dry at all, and that's what I want. I'm gonna mention these there quick. These are eye brushes. I got these from TikTok shop from the P. Louise cosmetics section. And my God, these brushes are so good. I didn't get, I didn't just get two, by the way. I got like a set for like a really good discount price. Honestly, TikTok shop is dangerous because there's so much stuff you can get there at discounted prices, it's ridiculous. But yeah, I got P. Louise brushes and I probably will get them made by Mitchell Blushes because they're really tempting from TikTok shop. Yeah, I really like the size of these. They're not too big for your eyelids. I think they fit quite nicely. I've been picking these up quite a lot. Yeah, they feel very soft too and they just blend. They're just not scratchy at all as well. Uh, and that's what I want. I can't stand brushes that are very scratchy in the eye or they sometimes have hair sticking out and then they end up in your inner corner. 
that's painful and I don't want that. Next up, we're moving on to She and She Glam. I'm gonna mention this little boy. This is the She, I don't know if it's She Glam, but it's from She In. It's their powder puff. I love this. I keep using this every day now. Um, I've been wanting the one from TikTok shop, but every time I go on it, it's sold out. So I opt out for She In. It literally costs, I think it costs it 75p. Like you cannot miss out on this. Get it now, 75p. And then whilst I was there, I got the Shein Freckle, I don't know what it's called. Oh, it's called Freck Please, Freckle Tint. I've got it in the shade Fawn, so it's like, it's that shade, but once you tap it out on your finger, it looks pretty okay. I mean, I'll wear a bit now. I did put a bit on earlier, but it's kind of like faded. Um, so I'll give a little, tutorial now <laughs> um yeah it just disappears nicely and i've been using this i didn't think i'd be using this a lot you know but it surprised me i've been using it quite a lot even though it does not look natural sometimes but why am i not stopping using it i don't know i keep using it and then I go over it with my powder puff as well. Yeah, I've been really liking this, as you can tell. <laughs> Lastly, but not least, I'm gonna mention this. I cannot wait to wash my hair in a minute. I brought some new Olaplex stuff and I cannot wait to use it. It's wash hair day, that's why I got my hair up, out of the way. But Revolution Conceal Defy Infinite, Infinite Spray. That word just made in. Mattifying a long wear makeup fixing spray. This stuff, seriously. I also got this from Shein too. This is so handy, literally. Um, this stuff just melts all your makeup together. It just draws everything in. I don't know what they put in this to make it really good, but it just makes your makeup last longer. I've been starting spraying my makeup in between my like, my steps and I feel like that's made my makeup last longer throughout the day and yeah I've been using this a lot I want to get the big size version I only wanted to get a little one just to see how it is and this is probably good to take on nights out as well if you just want to freshen up or something um I was gonna spray it there then like it was perfume no don't do that even though it does smell quite nice yeah uh that is everything to my August buys no that's a different video. That is everything to my August favourites. There's been a lot of highlights in here. I'd probably say the Molly Mae fake tan is a highlighter because that has converted me over the years of using Bondi Sands. So something really had to nail it to beat that. And I'll probably be using that for a long time until I find something that's, that's something that always happens to me. Um, another, highlight to this, another highlight to this video is definitely the Looney Tunes collection. These eyeshadow palettes, so affordable. The quality is there and yeah, I just, they're in my everyday drawer. Literally, if you want a video of my everyday drawer, I will film that. They are in my everyday drawer. That lipstick I used from Golden Rose. Check out Golden Rose. My lash is hanging off. So I'm gonna go now. I cannot wait to wash my hair. I'm having my hair done this week as well, thank God. Uh, I'm gonna go a bit blonder more on my roots because my roots are quite dark, so yes. I don't know why I felt like I need to tell you that, but I'm excited. I always get excited to get my hair done. I was going to say to look forward to the Clueless video, but that, I don't know when that video is going up. It should go up soon. I'm not going to get it up priority because I am busy over the weekend. I'm going to a festival. So that video will, will come eventually <laughs> when I get around filming it. I'm just busy doing other things so yeah that is me i hope you enjoyed it if you did like this video of course don't forget to hit the like button and if you want to see more august favorite no if you want to see more favorites from me hit subscribe button we're not going to get another august now to next year so but yeah i do these every single month so if you want to keep on watching them and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below but yeah other than that hope you have a lovely day now every time watch this and i shall see you next one bye